In today's video, I take a look at products from Pearl Izumi's Road and Mountain lines, ranging from their Versa Casual to the Airways Everything Black Collection. It's been a hot minute since the last time I wrote anything for Pearl, so I'm stoked to see what they sent. All right, this episode, we're gonna look at some stuff. What a surprise. We're gonna look at some stuff. I got a box of stuff here, and I'm gonna open it, and then I'm gonna show you what's inside of it. I'm gonna be looking at uh, some products from a company that I, I think the last time that I rode anything from this company was 2000, 2001. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, in fact, I think the, the last product that I owned from this company actually had chamois, or yeah, it was actual chamois in the chamois. It was the last versions of uh, their bib shorts called the Ultra Sensors. So, it's been a while. Obviously, we're looking at Pearl Izumi today. They've been around for a long time. They're one of the pioneers of stretchy stuff that most of us are wearing now. I've heard a lot of positive things about some of the new products. That's from real people. That's just not internet hype. People I've talked to that's been riding it, they dig it. So the, they reached out and contacted me, requested a couple of the products, uh, as well as some shoes. Let's get into it. So not only did I request product from the road line, I also got some product from their their mountain line or dirt line. I guess more geared towards gravel and kind of just get out and do whatever you want, which is kind of what I'm going towards. Um, and I'll still wear some stretchy stuff from time to time, obviously skin suits. For shorter, more casual, and it depends on the, what kind of terrain I'm going on, I'm starting to trend towards wearing more normal clothes. Um, I'll wear bib shorts if they're thin, um, bib shorts underneath the shorts, base layers underneath the shirts, uh, like button down shirts. I don't know, I just kind of, I'm kind of digging that now. So one of the things I got was, this one's called the um, short sleeve button up. Obviously it's got buttons. Um, but yeah, plaid shirt, which I'm digging. Uh, some shorts, these are called the Versa. On the stretchy stuff, this is one of the jerseys that I've heard a lot about. Actually, this is one of the bibs um, that I heard a lot about. Kind of wish they were in black. The last versions that they put out were all in black. Uh, and I really like that. Although I can't, I'm not gonna complain about the blue. Blue's just fine for me. Uh, so we got that, and what's the official, line, official name of this thing? This is called the Pursuit Black Speed Mesh Jersey. Super thin, you can see through it a little bit. I definitely gotta lose a lot more weight to, before I wear this. And, <laughs> three. So looking at first this uh, mountain bike shoes, X-App Elevate, also the X-Pro Project Pro. What is it? X-Project Pros. That orange is kinda sick. And these guys, I'm just, I'm just digging these. The uh, Pro Leader V4s, road shoes. And I actually do ride road. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to make sure well, at least one of my bikes with uh, road pedals is running. I guess that's the gunner. I don't know. What do you want to look at first? You want to look at uh, shirt? I'm not gonna. All I'm gonna do is a rundown today. I'm not. This isn't a review. I'm just pulling this stuff out. So I recently purchased a, a pair of long sleeve riding shirts from Specialized. They had a deal on them. I got one of the, I got two of those. I like those a lot. Unfortunately, again, I'm super thick and the size that I got is the size that I should be and not the size that I am. So we'll get there. I just gotta keep doing some more work. So also I gotta finish this so I can actually get on the trainer. There we go. First up, man, is this a medium? Did I get a large or a medium? I got a large, man, this thing is big. All right, so this is definitely for me at this point. Man, that's super thick. Yeah, guess it's extra room for uh, for doing sick whips. You know, throwing down some skids and doing crazy stuff, and you know? leading that sick butt lifestyle. So I'm looking forward to that. It's got a couple details on here, little uh, reflective spots, snaps, which are good. I don't know, I kind of been digging snaps too. It's got all the normal stuff that you expect from a, from a tech shirt. It's woven fabric. Uh, got a drop tail, covers your butt. Yeah, it's just got some cool style to it. And the Versa short. This might be a little bit longer than I'm currently used to wearing. I like the fabric already, it feels good. How soft. Feels like it's kind of brushed. Yeah, it's kind of brushed on the inside. A little bit of stretch to it. Kind of a cool, cool gray there. Zips on the pockets. Couple cool details here. And then jersey-wise, there's a lot of stuff going on with this one. Really digging the details on this and then the, how thin it is. Laser cut on the sleeves. Normal three pockets on the rear. Just lots of different fabrics here uh, depending on where it's supposed to be. Super stretch areas for that have a little bit stronger material. All I'm digging what I'm seeing. And then bit wise, 
again, like I said, the last time I rode a pair of uh, Pearl Zimmy bibs was back in the last decade before the, as the Lance thing was happening. Feels nice and thick. Actually, it's super thick. That's gonna be nice. Cause I may be thick everywhere, but I'm definitely not thick on my end. Feels, uh, the compression on this feels really nice. The fabric feels uh, nice and substantial. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, we'll start off with uh, kind of the casual, casual mountain shoe. Bow dial. A single, single strap up there. Kind of digging that on the inside. I haven't had a chance to ride these yet or put any cleats on them, but uh, it's interesting how that it pulls it over the top of the, the tongue. So it should, should be pretty cool. I wonder if that gives you more volume. It allows you to sit up on the top. So we'll see how that works out. Cool Vibram sole. And then it's designed kind of run both with uh, flat pedals and with uh, clipless pedals. Definitely more set to the kind of gravel set gravel riding, um, lots of getting off the bike and doing things other than just sitting on your bike. But feel pretty substantial, but they're not super, um, they're not super heavy. Pretty cool looking shoe. Kind of normal, normal looking shoe. That's real descriptive, isn't it? I'm being super helpful today. You gotta forgive me. I haven't been talking on the video for a long time, so. X Project Pro, I had to get the orange. The orange is sexy. Love this. Dual boas, again, sitting on the inside with the, uh, the tongue. Really kind of digging that. Feels like a sticky, uh, sticky rubber sole too. It's one of the things I've noticed on some of the shoes recently. Uh, that the rubber is too hard, and when you're walking on normal stuff or walking on anything that's um, that's slick at all, that even with mountain shoes, the mountain shoes just are all over the place. But it's nice to have. Yeah, think about it when you uh, when you're remounting on cross. Um, sometimes you hit the wrong section, even if you hit here, but. Hit here, it's generally, you'll have, generally on this section here, the rubble would be a little bit more tactile, a little bit more grippy, but how many times have you hit up here and started pedaling and it feels as though that you're just gonna slip off? I've been noticing, uh, at least on the Shimano shoes that I tested this year, uh, that their rubber was a lot softer than shoes that I've been riding in the past, like the Specialized. Specialized was super hard, and these feel nice and grippy. Super stiff. Those would be cool, I'm looking forward to trying those. And the Pro Leader V4. More of those uh, dual boas sitting on the inside. These shoes are ridiculously light. And I love the, the way that these things are set up with the, just the molding and how everything's put together. And then the sole, if you've seen these on the, the web when they were introduced uh, at Interbike, dig in the bottom. That's obviously gonna get all completely um, messed up, but it looks cool right now before I put anything on there. 